today we're going to make a teeny tiny turtle. And as we make this turtle, we're going to learn all about Rhode Island's turtle species and how we can help them. For this craft, you'll need a hole punch, an egg carton, scissors, a clothespin, markers, and two pipe cleaners. First, we're going to take our egg carton and our scissors, and we're just going to cut out one of these little circles. This is going to be the top shell of our turtle, or the carapace. Turtles are reptiles, which means that they're ectothermic or cold-blooded. That means that whatever the air or water temperature is, that's the temperature of the turtle's body. So they need to lay out in the sun to warm up and jump back into the water to cool down. They also lay eggs, and have scales. And their scales cover their whole body and they're made up of the same material as our fingernails called keratin. I just trimmed the edges to make it nice and smooth and a nice round circle. So turtles carapace are covered in what's called scoops and those are just modified scales and every time the turtle grows they actually shed those scales. Next, we're going to make the bottom of the turtle shell called the plastron. So I'm just going to take my carapace and a marker and I'm just going to trace around that carapace so I get a nice circle that's the same size. Now I'll just use my scissors to cut out that circle. Some turtles are able to go completely inside their shells like our box turtle. And these turtles actually have a hinge on their plastron that closes all the way up. I'll just make sure that my plastron fits right underneath my carapace. And it does. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take my clothespin and my carapace, and I'm going to see how they line up. So eventually, I want my turtle's head, which is going to be the front of our clothespin, to be inside of the top of my carapace. I'm just gonna kind of mark where the edges of that clothespin are. On the front and on the back. Now we can trim that right off. I'm going to use my scissors to cut about three quarters of the way up my egg shell, just like that, and I'm gonna trim that piece off. And then I'll do the same thing in the back. Cutting about three quarters of the way up. Then I pull that little tab up and trim it right off. We'll just test to make sure that our clothespin fits right in there. Let's see. Oh, I think I might need to trim it a little bit more because when my turtle opens his mouth, it looks like he might go past the bottom of my plastron. That looks better. Now we're going to use our hole punch to punch the holes that will attach our carapace to our plastron. So I'm going to just punch four holes, two in the front and then two in the back. And then the same thing. I'm going to do right on my carapace. So two on either side of the front slot and two on either side of the back slot. All right, so we'll just make sure our holes match up all right. Looks pretty good. Next, we're going to take our two pipe cleaners. I'm going to line them right up and bend them in half. Make sure they're nice and even. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut those right in half. So now I should have four shorter pipe cleaners and these are going to be my four legs of my turtle. Now we'll take each pipe cleaner section and use it to attach our carapace to our plastron and to make the legs. 
So I'm just going to thread it through the bottom of the plastron first and then up through the carapace. And now I'll fold that pipe cleaner right in half, give it a nice little twist, and then I'm going to take the end of my pipe cleaner, I'm going to tuck it back in through that hole on the bottom so that I don't get poked. So now we've got one leg and we'll just repeat that for the rest of the legs. By looking at the legs of turtles, you can actually tell where they live. Some turtles spend their entire lives in the water, like our sea turtles that come to visit, and they have paddle-like feet. Other turtles spend part of their lives in the water and part on land. And they have webbed feet, but they also are able to walk on land. Diamondback terrapins are a really unique species that live in Rhode Island. They live in salt marshes, which are a mix of fresh and salt water. Most of our native turtle species only live in fresh water. Diamondback terrapins were really hard to find in Rhode Island for a very long time and that was due to habitat loss and poaching. People would actually trap and collect those turtles and use them for food or sell them in the pet trade. The Barrington Land Trust has been helping protect nests and hatchlings for 30 years and those hatchlings have gone on to help boost the populations. At the Division of Fish and Wildlife, we're using new technology like drones to find new populations in Rhode Island and to help monitor how they're doing in our state. Perfect! So now we have all of our turtle's legs on and our plastron is attached to our carapace. Now we can take our clothespin and we can put it right into our turtle's body. I made a bigger hole in the front because that's where my mouth is going to open and close. So just feed it right through there. And now you can see my turtle's little head sticking out. And he can open his mouth so he can eat if he needs to. And he can also pull back and hide in his shell. Now that our turtle is all pieced together, we can decorate. While we decorate this turtle, I'll tell you a little bit more about some of the threats that turtles face and a little bit more about their life history. During the springtime, turtles emerge from their long winter sleep and we often see them on roads. This is due to something called habitat fragmentation and that's when an animal's habitat is chopped up into teeny tiny pieces from things like roads and buildings. Turtles all lay eggs and they lay them out of the water and up on land. That means if their water is on one side of a road and the land is on the other side, they need to cross that road in order to get to that nice soft sandy soil where they can lay their eggs. Our teeny tiny turtle's all finished! So while we can keep him as a pet, it's important to remember that we should never take turtles from the wild to keep as pets. It's actually illegal in Rhode Island. And we also want to make sure that we leave their eggs where we found them. That's where their mothers wanted them to be, so that's where it's safe for them. If you have a pet that you've had for a very long time and you decide you don't want it anymore, Please never release it into the wild. That can also really hurt our native turtle species. Well, you can help by protecting wetlands, picking up litter, helping a turtle cross the road, and just sharing everything that you learned today. Let people know turtles belong in the wild.